Unbeaten hockey powers clash in the dream final at the World Championship. With Canada's scoring star counter Russia's quick strike attack. In comes Kovalchuk, shoots, scores! Ilya Kovalchuk ties it up! With Sydney seeking his first Stanley Cup final appearance, the Penguins come out firing against the Flyers. Uh-oh, out front, scores! It's win or go home. Who would emerge from a Game 7 showdown between LeBron James and Paul Pierce? You want the truth, you can't handle the truth. And with Sean Markham shelved by rain, the Blue Jays call on an unlikely arm to shut down the powerful Phillies. Hey folks, time for another installment of Sports Center. Glad you could join us in the Sunday night. I'm Brian, that's Holly, and there was a gold medal up for grabs at the World Championship, the final featuring Canada and Russia. Two outstanding teams, lots of firepower, and they did not disappoint in this final. You can't really go wrong when you have these two in a final, or any game for that matter. Canada defending its gold medal against Russia. It's the first time these hockey powers have met in the World Championship final in 50 years. Just over a minute in, Alexander Ovechkin sacrificing his body to set up Alexander Semen. He's got his fifth. Canada's only trailed for a minute and 12 seconds in the whole tournament. They're trailing here. And sure enough, two minutes later, Brent Burns, nice little move. Beats Evgeny Nabokov, ending his shutout streak at... 125 minutes. P.M. Harper loves it. Game tied at one. Then Martin St. Louis takes the feed, thinks he scored. But the replay shows the puck hits the post and does not cross the line. Later on, Eric Stahl collides with Maxim Sushinsky and trips him up. No call. And Chris Kunitz takes it and rips his second of the tourney. Canada up 2-1. Later, Vitaly Proshkin high sticks Rick Nash, puts Canada on a two-man advantage. Money in Loose the it bank. St. Louis to Burns. He's got his second of the game, Burns. third of the tourney. 3-1, Canada. Russia opens the second on the power play. The puck comes off the end boards to seven, and he buries it. One-timer, great display of skill for his second of the game. Russia back within one. Three and minutes Semen later, Semen sends Ovechkin in alone. Ovechkin Can't beat Cam Ward. Ward. Dan Hamney is trying to clear it. Ovechkin running him over. Russia applying pressure. The and midway goal. through the frame. In comes Getzlaff. Looking in front. Heatley shoots. Score! Danny Heatley! A beauty short side, and Heatley sets the modern day Canadian record with so his 12th well goal of the tourney. Two down minutes down later, Ilya Kovalchuk to Sergei Zinoviev. Point blank save by Cam Ward. Moments later, Ovechkin stands on the one timer. You don't see that too often. And Kovalchuk gets stopped. Andre Markov fires the rebound wide. Canada is up 4-2 after 2 to the third in the physical start. Ovechkin running into Shane Doan. Ovechkin was everywhere. Doan and Semin and talking a little trash between the benches. Kovalchuk still goalless in the tournament. Stopped there by Ward. And then Ward will shut the door on Alexander Radulov and cover it up. Midway through the period, Russia finally breaks through. Alexei Tereshenko shovels home the rebound. Russia is within one with 11 minutes to play. And five. Five minutes left now. Kovalchuk snaps it past Kovalchuk Ward. That was a bullet. His first of the tournament ties it at four, sends it to OT. Early on, Rick Nash sends it over the glass, putting Russia on a four on three power play. Now Fedorov watching Ovechkin plays it across to Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk in, shoots, scores! Ilya Kovalchuk wins the gold medal for Russia. Kovalchuk tied the game. It's Kovalchuk wins coming. the game. Nash taking the costly the Russians, penalty. Canada, and Canada silver. fails in their bid on to become the first team to win on home ice since 1986. Russia and scores so three Russia. unanswered goals to win 5-4 in overtime. Their silver. first World Hockey Championship hockey gold game. medal since 1993. And yes, Gord Miller, it was a classic. Russia's gold medal ends a 15-year drought at the World Championship. Kovalchuk was scoreless in this tournament prior to his two goals. Ward suffers his first loss at the World Championship, dropping to 9-1. and one. While Keatley's two points gives him 20 points in nine games that ties him with Steve Eisenman for the record for points in a World Championship. Nash describes that penalty. Everything happened so fast, you know, I was just trying to chip it up and, um, you know, the puck went flying. It was, uh, you know, it was a mistake and, um, you know, that's part of the game and uh, I got to deal with it. And, 
you know, we'll just move on. Yeah, it's disappointing, uh, you know, especially, especially in Canada. Uh, both cities, uh, Halifax and Quebec City, the fans are great, and uh, we would love to love to bring it home for them. But uh, you know, I was very disappointed. I'm not going to sit here and make any excuses. That was uh, a save that I, I need to make, especially with uh, the game on the line, like it was in the third period. Uh, it doesn't matter it's against who we win. You know, we win. That's the most important thing. And all, all everybody, all the country, going to celebrate like crazy. So uh, we're going to fly back tomorrow, and I think it's going to be crazy in Moscow. Big party back in Moscow. Oh yeah, big party tonight too. <laughs> I'm very proud for my team, I'm very proud of myself, I'm very proud for my country and uh, you know for every, everybody, everybody happy right now in Russia. All right, back to the NHL. It was the minor miracle the Flyers needed. Kimo Timonen in for game five against the Penguins. Now they could continue work on the major miracle, erasing that three zip hole with Crosby, Malkin, and Jordan Stahl in the fold. The only thing more exciting than the future for the Penguins is the right now. Pittsburgh one went away from a Stanley Cup appearance in a home building where they have been playoff perfect thus far. Now in conference finals history, the team with a 3-1 series lead has a 57-1 record. And two minutes in, Mike Knubel takes down oh, Maxine Talbot. The, the Penguins the get an early power play, and it's quick there. and efficient. Puck comes back to Sidney Crosby. Now make no mistake, this was not a shot. That was a pass all the way. Goes off Ryan Malone's skate and in. They review the play. There was no kicking motion. Malone's got his fifth, and it's one on the Pittsburgh. Still in one. Martin Baron pinned against the boards by Malone. He loses his stick. Malkin, well, he has his stick. And he buries it. His ninth of the playoffs, 2 0 Penguins. Now, as both teams head to the locker room after the first, Durant calls Malone over, gives him a little shot, and then he yaps with Yarko Rutu a bit. Penguins take a 2 0 lead. Durant takes some frustration with him. Flyers get a break in the second. Daniel Briere takes the shot. Scott Hartnell jumps in the rebound, but how for Flurry? He's not rattled. Two big saves. Flyers pressing. Crosby creates the turnover, though, with some great defense. Joins the play on offense, gets the puck, little backhand pass. Marion Host is all over it. His ninth, Penguins up three zip. A little later, Malkin tries stuffing that puck short side, then he gets into a scuffle with RJ Umberger. The Flyers start getting reckless. Jeff Carter takes down Malkin. That's another power play with an man advantage. Sergey Gonchar shot from the point, tipped in by Malone, his second of the game. He's coming up big in the playoffs. His sixth, four nothing Pittsburgh. Final minute of the second. Jordan Stahl neatly packages that backhand. His sixth. Penguins up five nothing. But before the buzzer sounded to end the second, Flyers get on the board. But Patrick Thorson runs into Flurry, so it's immediately ruled no goal. Five nothing Penguins after two. This series pretty much done, and the Penguins keep rolling. Hosts a shot off Pascal Dupuis and in. Six nothing Penguins. Flyers, they try to get something going. One timer from Carter, but Flurry there for one of his 21 saves. The Pittsburgh Penguins advance to their first Stanley Cup final since 1992, beating the Flyers in five games. Mario loves it. Six nothing the final. You know, the Penguins just two losses in the postseason thus far. They are looking.